It's a very good morning. It's the beginning of a big one-day series. It's the IDBI Fortis Welsurance Cup. The one-day series, five-match series. The first one here from Dambula. Well, we're at the start of a rather competitive series here in Dambula. I have the two uh, captains ready for the toss. There's Mahela Jayawardana for Sri Lanka, Mahinda Singh Dhoni for India, and of course the match referee, Mr. Chris Broad. Mahela spins. Tails, Tails is the call from Dhoni. It is a tail. It is a tail and uh, India does win and uh, what will it be, MS? Uh, we are bowling first, you know, uh, the wicket looks very different from how it behaves. So uh, we have seen, you know, in, in day games, it's obviously the seamers who get get the help initially. So we are looking to bowl first. Uh, we committed a mistake last time when we were touring over here. The wicket looked quite similar, but it helped the fast bowlers. Thanks, MS. Do well. Hopefully. What would you have done if you'd won the toss? Yeah, bowl first, obviously. I mean, there'll probably be a little bit in it. Uh, take the advantage, but uh, hopefully, you know, the toss is not, not going to make a huge difference. Put our head down and, you know, get some runs on the board and uh, create opportunities. Thanks, Mahila. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Thanks. So the news from the centre is that India have won the toss and they will bowl first. It was so very important to pick up early wickets once you start to do that. But they're up against a very strong batting lineup. Dilshan, Sanajaya, Surya, Sangakara, Kandambi gets a game, Mahela Jayawad. Now very, very strong in the batting lineup. They bat very deep. And India, they're missing out. Varendra Sevag, otherwise, it's a very good team as well. Jay Surya now combining with Dilshan. Now, Dilshan was devastating in the previous game. He got 139. And we know the kind of or the brand of cricket he plays, and we're already looking forward to this contest. But there will be a little bit of moisture up front, so they'll have to watch out for that. 39 years old, Jess Surya. Look at the weight of those runs, almost 13,000. He needs just 37 more. And that strike rate, um, well, if at all, is getting even better. Dilshan, the man we were talking about, he also gets his runs very quickly. And um, yeah, I probably feel that he's found his place now at the top. I think he has. They're both uh, stroke makers, they're both attacking players, so they complement each other very well and always very useful to have a left-right opening combination at the top of the order. Three in the cover, saving one, a third man wideish, Very orthodox looking field. I think they're just going to check it out, uh, the initial start, and see how the wicket behaves. Is there enough juice in it or not? Here it is does go off slowly off the surface so it looks like a good batting surface but in the past we've seen that run making is not that easy that's why you needed a short leg now he's got to go it probably has to go if he hits he does it i think he's gone yusuf patan it was with the ball dilshan was looking for the run yusuf patan didn't release he felt that he could make it before uh, dilshan and eventually he had to release the ball and I think the Indians believe they've got their man. Dreadful misunderstanding. Dilshan won at the run. Jayasuriya didn't. Dilshan kept coming. By the time he decided to go back, uh, we think it might be too late. He could be in trouble. So another look at it. Bat and pad onto... Uh, it's bat onto the pad. Then uh, a call from Dilshan. Jayasuriya not interested. Sent him back. Sent him back quite late. Let's have a look at this again. Oh yes, he's well short. So disaster for uh, Sri Lanka. Real disaster. You don't want to have that happening to you. Losing the first wicket on naught and um, by a run out. So this is a big beginning for India. They'd feel very, very pleased with it. We're still waiting for the umpire's decision. I wonder what is holding him. There it is. Uh, so Dilshan obviously is making his way back into the pavilion. India have got a wicket. Sri Lanka are not for one. A new man in is uh, Kumar Sangakara. Also a huge uh, heavyweight in this scheme of things for uh, Sri Lanka. He's got a job to do because they've lost the inform Dilshan and rather unfortunate circumstance that what appeared to Dilshan to be an easy run uh, obviously wasn't uh, as simple for his partner, Jay Surya, and uh, that horrible misunderstanding has resulted in the first wicket to go. Take a look, another one. Well, there it is again, bat, bat and pad close together, but going to Patan, the call was quick from Dilshan. Jay Surya had no time interested, so he's a long way out. 
Patan did the right thing, got closer to the stumps uh, before he threw. So what a start for India. That's over the top. That's the Jay Surya. He had the width and the length to play with, and he's crashed that for a boundary. Any width than uh, Jay Surya is so dangerous in the initial stages of a one-day innings. If you give him the opportunity, outside that off stump, he'll put it away all the time. Another boundary. This is crisp and clean. Past extra cover, nobody moved. Well, that was a hard volley. Jazri is not going to miss out on those. He hit a boundary square of the wicket in the previous over, but this one, through extra cover, his timing was quite superb. Very good weight transfer through the shot. Oh, glorious. Again, uh, not even a half volley, taken on the rise, but smashed, in fact, bludgeoned over the covers. Too much whip, third boundary for uh, Jayasuriya in that area. Nicely played. He's a class act, Kumar Sangakara. This is a lovely, lovely shot. Sangakara is such a beautiful player to watch. When he gets everything together, this one driving through extra cover, opening the face slightly maybe to get the gap between those two fieldsmen, but very well played. Pretty unfortunate uh, that uh, he didn't get a break, but this is nicely worked away by Jaya Surya. That's gone down to the boundary on his legs and just a tickle. And off the edge, down to third man. Jaya Surya gets a boundary. And off a free hit. Well, he would have been looking for a six, but he got a boundary. That's all right. The crowd has gone mad. We haven't had much of those. And this is uh, in the air, but in the gap. Catch it was a cry. It's gone down to the boundary. Another four for Sana Jaya Surya. And this is over the top. This is a very good shot again by Jaya Surya, pulling it from outside the off stump. Another boundary. Sana Jaya Surya is really stepping it on now. Once again, just the length that he wanted. Short of a good length and whacked away. One bounce into the advertising boards. This is over the top. This is a good shot by Jaya Surya, but may not go all the way. Not timed to perfection, but still managing to hit it over the top. Hit it over the infield, a couple of runs. So single to end the over. The Sri Lankan 50 is up. <coughs> and the 50 partnership, 50 for one. Thirteen thousand runs for Jasuria and one day internationals. What an achievement! Four hundred twenty-eight matches, thirteen thousand runs, average of thirty-two, a strike rate of ninety-one. That's why he's a match winner. Twenty-seven hundreds of those. Yes, absolutely. It's the strike rate that's. Uh the big thing in the Jaya Surya career. Strike rate of 91, opening the batting. 13,000 runs and still going. Down the track and he smashed it. Slow outfield, but he'll get to the boundary in a hurry. 15 overs bold. It's 59 for one. There it is, 50 for uh, Jasuria. 14th against India. It's the 68th overall and second on this ground. 
acknowledges uh, the appreciative crowd here. It was 68, the half century for him. There, that's the first show of intent, straight down the ground. And he's connected handsomely. Six for Jasuria. And he didn't even uh, look to hit it too hard. He's timed it very well, used his feet. And you can see he's not really, really tried to have a big swing at it. Very nicely timed, just over the uh, straight boundary. That's gone into the vacant area for a boundary. Ten runs from the over. It's 110 for one. And then you're going to get runs like that. The flatter ones are going to be pushed for runs. Just the two on that occasion because it isn't such a pacey track. The ball doesn't really whip off it. In the air and he's gone. That is the wicket that India were looking for. Kumar Sangakara didn't get the elevation he wanted and has just ended up in the hands of Suresh Raina. Well, you can see from the footwork, it's tired footwork. And then eventually, because the foot didn't go to the pitch of the ball, he had to try and reach out to try and hit it over the top. Wasn't able to control it. And a simple catch there. He's very upset. Jayasuriya is very upset that a wicket has fallen and uh, the partnership's broken. It's 118 for two. Well, the partnership has just been broken. 118 uh, these to put on and 166. And Sangakara, tired-looking Sangakara, just give it away there. Uh, Kadambi has walked in. Kandambi, he's uh, playing his eighth game. That's gone into the gap and it's a big chase there for Zahir Khan. He saves the boundary but will certainly concede three. It's 124 for two. Anita Lobo goes with our team. It's been of great help on this tour. Now this is a good shot. Jaya Surya has picked his spot. He's got a boundary. Reyna dropping it short and for Sana Jaya Surya, this bowling is meat and drink. Goes again, this time towards square leg and it's gone for four. Zahir Khan couldn't reach it. Didn't put in the dive, it wasn't two minds in the deep. Was it very, very hard? Bottom hand coming into play. Backs a punch into it, thought about diving and then lets it go. 149 for two, just the one wicket for Pragya Noja, the other was a run out. Inside out, bit of work to do. Puts in the dive, Pragya Noja will be referred, I would think. Good commitment from Oja in the deep. Played uh, behind square. This might be his hundred. Jayasurya is coming back, and that is Sana Jayasurya's hundred. Very well played. 28th one-day hundred, and what a performer he's been for Sri Lanka. And he's once again batted brilliantly, and the crowd has really been appreciative. It's been a tough innings here. Conditions have been easy, but Sana Jayasurya has risen to the occasion. 28th one day 100. Amazing, unbelievable. 39 years of age. Difficult conditions weather wise. He stuck it out. He loves India. The seventh 100 against India. And this one, one of the best. He's enjoying it. He's like a 19 year old, not a 39 year old there. Once again. Couple more for Jaya Surya. Sana Jaya Surya is the type of player that he loves. 
There you are. He's tired. He's very tired. But somebody super fit. There goes Rasuria. Opens his shoulders and that's gone. Correction, that was Kandambi. Yes, we were talking that he must open out and he does it. And he does it well and that's a 50 partnership as well. So, uh, exactly what Kandambi needs to do now. Take pressure off uh, Sanif Jayasuriya. That'll make it very difficult for India if they attack at both ends during this power play. Yes, that was uh, pitched in the right area for him to free his arms. He's got his uh, foot down the pitch. Which close enough, didn't stop on him. And we see a change in the field, a short mid-wicket has come in. That's in the air. And that's the end of Tirana Kandambi. Weak dismissal, caught at mid-off. He's looking to exploit the power play, as he should do. But he just never got hold of this delivery. It was back at the length, try to go over Murdoff. Murdoff is in the circle, but uh, hit it very high up on the bat. So that's the third wicket that goes down. Gandami has gone for 17, 169 for three. For Wisma Roof out in the middle, so the Sri Lankans have changed their batting order. Mahalaja Wadhana down to come at five. Maruf comes ahead of him in his 87th game. Need to make uh, big contributions with the bat or worthwhile contributions. 69, his uh, top score. He's got all of that one. Intentions clear. He's going to try and uh, hit over the top as much as he can, whenever he can, while the power play lasts. Zaya Khan doing the right thing, bowling around the wicket to Jayasuriya to try and cramp him for room. Jayasuriya looking over Murdoff, but uh, didn't middle that one. Delivers a full toss, it's up in there. Yes, and that's the end of Sana Jayasuriya. Not what he wanted to do. Simple catch, and Sana Jayasuriya departs. Well, it was a full toss. It was a change of pace, all right. It was a slow delivery, but uh, it was a, re a tired shot by son of Jayasuriya. He's played so well, but you could just see him as it went on. His innings went on, getting tired. So it didn't get hold of this one. Mid-off, due to the power play, is inside the circle. And the second wicket to go down in a fairly similar fashion. So a big blow from a Sri Lankan point of view. India strike. They get their fourth wicket. They're looking better and better. 171 for four. Malajai Wodhan, the captain, out in the middle. Gets off the mark, first ball. So the captain doing another notch down the batting order. He's at number six. Familiar position being number four. 295th match. 7,921 runs. Strike rate 76.2. He's not been one of those very fast scorers, but a player who likes to bat for a long time. It's settled in that position of uh, number four. Very nicely played uh, by Maru. Freezes it into the gap. And this time he'll pick up a boundary. Good shot by uh, Maru. Just giving himself some room. The delivery was full this time. His timing was uh, excellent. As we said before, the pitch is quite slow. So not easy always to hit through the line. But uh, improvising well, Maru. There goes Maruf. Makes contact again, moving outside the leg stump. This time it was a very clean hit. No. It's in the air. Could be another man gone. Mahela Jayavardhana taken easily. Ishan Sharma picks up the wicket. Roj Sharma, the catcher. Well, Jayawadana's uh, bad form with the uh, bat continues. But, of course, he had come in at a difficult situation, uh, situation where there's no time for the batsman to settle down. He's got to go for the big shots. And when you're not in good nick, this is what can happen. Trying to uh, make a little bit of room from outside the often. 
but just getting a leading edge. Simple catch there for Rohit Sharma. So Jai Vardhane caught Sharma, bowled Sharma. 204 for 5. Kap Gedra, the new man at the crease. Get off the mark straight away. It gets two for Vizma Roof. Cross two where the batsman as the catch was taken. Brilliant strike. He's gone the distance. In fact, it's cleared the boundary line by a huge margin. Well, this is always going to be the danger when you have an in inexperienced bowler like Pragyanos are coming in the ball towards the death. He's uh, bowling his normal stuff, but this is good use of uh, the feet by uh, Maruf. He's given himself just a little bit of room. Went straight down the pitch rather than towards the uh, ball because that allowed him to free his arms. And this is beautifully timed. Bit of inside edge on this one. Zaid Khan getting around. We'll pick up two more for Bisma Roof to win the over. 221 for five. Hold him. Gets his front leg out of the way, but inside edge. And third wicket for Ishan Sharma. Comes at a crucial time with Maruf looking dangerous. Yes, this is a big wicket. The slower delivery. And a bit of an inside edge on uh, to the uh, stumps. He was going for the big hit. This is more a T20 shot where you make room, take the front foot out of the way. But uh, didn't quite connect simply because uh, Ishan Sharma cleverly bowled a slower delivery. But he's played a very good hand, Maruf, of 35. It's 2-2-2 two, two, two for 6. Tushara walks up to the center. A strike rate of 96. Best of 54. Very good delivery first up. Terrific sound, a ball hitting bat. Maximum. 229 for six. It's gone in the air, but it's gone well. Over long gone. Tushara this time. His first six. This is a magnificent shot. Once again, he's picked up the slow delivery very well. He may have been in the right slot, but it still had to be put away. That is terrific timing. Beautifully struck by Tushara. It's a huge hit. It's in the air. He's got the elevation. Fielder coming underneath it. Both of them don't attempt it. Yusuf Patan and Suresh Raina. It was Yusuf Patan's catch. He was the man who was running in from long on. Well, the thing is whether they observe the basics of saying mine. Well, Suresh Raina seems to be suggesting it's his. And eventually he stops. But there's Captain Cole. No reaction whatsoever. Direct hit will result in extra runs. He's referred it to the third umpire. This is what a fielder has to quickly think at this stage of the innings. Is a wicket worth it? Or if the ball ricochets off for uh, extra runs, what do we go for? Well, it looks to me as if uh, Raina has taken the correct decision to go for it because it's a it, it's a wicket and it's a wicket it looks to me it's a dot ball at this stage when the ball strikes the stumps the bales are still in their groove when the batsman is on the crease the bats on the crease now the next one is important the next frame but if the bowler the fielding side or the batting side oh it's a wink Saying it's out. Here comes the dot ball now. Kavagedra gone for 15. Sri Lanka 245 for 7. Tulasekra is the new man. Tushara the man on strike. No 
Oh, really is a crime. He's bowled a no ball and it's a free hit. Misses it. And Dhoni misses it as well. Third ball to end the over. 50 overs bowled. Sri Lanka healthy score. 246 for 7. Both sides will be pretty happy with the performances. There you are. Dilshan out to the in the first over for 0. Jai Surya then compensating with a 100. And a big partnership with uh, Kumar Sangakara. The uh, middle order, Maruf uh, scoring a quick 35. Jai Vardhana failed again. But the useful contributions down the order, taking uh, Sri Lanka to 246 for 7. Zahir Khan pick up the bowlers once again, picked up one wicket. Ishan Sharma picked up three. And Pragya Roja, the left arm spinner, picking up one. So there it is, India will now take on that total of 246. Now, judging from the past, 246 seems to be a wonderful total. In fact, more than a fighting chance Sri Lanka have given themselves, judging it's a slow wicket. And also, the outfield has been slow, uh, Roshan. So 246, normal grounds would be about 270? I reckon, uh, but uh, certainly this pitch hasn't behaved as badly as we thought. And I thought uh, it will only get better because it would get uh, drier and uh, whatever moisture that it would have had would be dry and it would be gone and i believe the ball might come on a little bit better in the afternoon the indians have an excellent uh, batting lineup and just look at gautam gambir he's just uh, really one of those top stars in the indian lineup and uh, sachin tendulkar needs no introduction so i think it, it's a fantastic uh, game that we're going to see that's sachin tendulkar's record I believe it's a good challenging score. 247 is a good target. Sri Lankans have something to bowl at. We're certainly going to have a super game in our hands in the second half. Let me ask you directly, which dressing room would you rather be in now with that 246? Anyway, here it is. Two slips. And uh, Kula Sekra it is. India away. Gambhir has got one. Just flicked down the onside. Now, Kula Sekra has had a tremendous uh, year. In fact, he's sneaked under the radar he's second on the icc rankings and uh, really he's not hogged the limelight so much to be number two on the icc rankings he's gone over the top didn't quite middle it gautam gambir is going to be a bit of a chase it's not going to reach maruf reaches it and gambir comes back for the third and he's got to be quick he is excellent shot good running by gautam gambir Close, did it pitch in line? That's the thing, and he's got the affirmative. Kumar Dharmasena had to decide whether it pitched in line. I thought it hadn't, but it was one of those close ones. And he has ruled in favor of the bowler. Tendulkar makes the long walk back. Well, Kumar Dharmasena's first decision, and what a decision! Sachin Tendulkar, it's interesting to take a look. Well, to start with, it seemed to have pitched outside the leg stump. So if it pitches outside the leg stump, we know it can't be out. So unfortunate, but then these things could happen. The umpire doesn't have uh, the liberty of that. It's 13 for 1. Well, Suresh Raina walks in uh, into an opportunity and a situation. It's just what India didn't want to happen. An early wicket and that to Tendulkar. 13 for 1, but every bit of adversity is also an opportunity. And here is Suresh Raina. Great strike rate, an average uh, to boot. 34 is not bad at all by any standard. He's gone over the top and he's going to get 4 for it. That's the strength of Gautam Gambhir. He can surprise you. There's nothing predictable about this young man. He's able to hit it over the top. It certainly advances. Not afraid to use his feet to the faster bowlers. Ah! Oh, has he taken him? That is an exceptional take if he's managed it. Gautam Gambhir is standing. But certainly magnificent athleticism there by Kula Sekra. Great effort. Gautam Gambhir is standing his ground. He's not sure. 
the umpires are consulting but what a fantastic effort on his follow through reaching out and it was pretty low very well taken we'll have to wait and see but it is a great effort i think he's got his man we'll just take a look the leading edge in the air he goes down now this is the problem does he get that finger under it or does the ball also touch the ground at the same time that's the tough one now that's the one the umpire has to make i wouldn't want to be a third umpire to adjudicate such takes looks like he's taken it looks like he's got his fingers at least this angle would suggest it certainly this angle looks much better than the other one it's a bit more conclusive it appears that he's just got his fingers under the ball he's given it not out the umpire has taken a look at it from all angles and uh, you've got to say that he's gone by giving the benefit of the doubt to the batsman oh that is an exceptional shot brilliant what a crisp hit just past the bowler just erring in length and he latched onto it perfectly another one this time past the bowler on the offside even better what a treat another boundary great batting by suresh rena he certainly looks to be in top form those two drives the second one this one too suggesting just look at that that's so straight so crisply timed another lovely drive through mid off another boundary and this time he's gone over and he's has it done the distance he's got six for it so this time he didn't what didn't try to keep it down went over He's making full use of these uh, field restrictions and Kulasekar are pitching it up and Reina just getting it in the middle well over mid on and over long on for six lovely shot indeed well this is already the most expensive over of this match but I was just trying to see if that was a slower one it wasn't it was just a length and on the front foot just played it straight over mid on for six Ajin just clipping the fingers of Mahela Jawardena. He will take his chances, Gautam Gambhir, and he gets away with this one. In fact, will pick up two. Very difficult chance uh, this time. Gautam Gambhir threw everything at this delivery. He was looking somewhere over extra cover. Got a thick outside edge, and it flew away to uh, Jawardena at first slip. Got both hands to it, but uh, just fingertips really. More runs before them. We'll wait for the umpire signal. The leg bar as it is. They'll be comfortable all the way. Good shot. Brings up the 50, that excellent boundary. He's such a lovely player to watch when he gets going. Gambhir is very strong through the offside. One for the pull shot, banded fine leg. Doesn't get there in time. 54 for one. play comparisons there India 54 for one so they well uh, well ahead at this stage the third power play the batting power play was the one that uh, meant trouble for Sri Lanka that's an excellent stroke the short delivery very well controlled there by Gautam Gambia not an easy shot to play that's a terrific shot this young man's very impressive when he plays uh, that shot. He's not afraid to hit the ball up in the air. And uh, he got just the uh, wit that he was looking for around the off stump. And see that. A lot of confidence as he hits that ball uh, over extra cover. Full face of the bat there. 
So no problem of an outside edge or anything like that. Oh, he's played that very fine. Just the thick outside edge which is running away. And it will be four. So 50 for Gautam Gambhir with that. That's been a wonderful innings for this young man. And he carries on uh, very, very consistent for India in all forms of the game. 2008 was fantastic for Gambhir and 2009 is starting off well too. But that's in the air. Fielder getting under it. And that is a, a gift. Gautam Gambhir obviously was struggling with uh, the elements here. Got tired. This happened to the Sri Lankans as well. So he has inadvertently provided the opening that Sri Lanka was so desperate for. Well, you're just making the point. Don't think about the others in the dressing room. You've got to finish it. He was in complete control till he played the shot. A bonus wicket for Murli. And Sri Lanka have broken through. A very, very good innings of 62 comes to an end. 126 for two. Well, it's almost following the Sri Lankan innings path. Two down, 126. You've Raj walks in after Gautam Gambhir has provided the opening. Really gave it away. He was batting so well. But you've Raj and uh, strike rate of almost 90 with an average of 37. 6,500. Intensely experienced. Great talent. But this is... Uh, he had a miserable time the last time round in uh, Sri Lanka. He'll be wanting to make amends. But against England, it's a different story. 138 not out in 78 balls in the first game. Then 118, 38, 25 not out and a 6. So he's come off uh, really a phenomenal time against England. He would be feeling good about himself, but there's a slip in place for him. And he's off the mark, Yuvraj. He'd feel, uh, he'd feel pretty relieved. 127 for 2. So Raina on 49. And 50. He's played a wonderfully controlled innings. His ninth 50, Mohandas Menon tells me, raises his bat to the dressing room, but this uh, job is only half done. He's got to be there till the very end. Suresh Raina. He's played well. Has a good strike rate. He's looking in control. He's on top of the bowling. To run the first one hard. Suresh Raina. Hesitation. This could be disaster. This could be real disaster. He's gone. Huge mix up. Raina run out. It was a bonus wicket first up. Gautam Gambi looking for the big shot. Hold out in the deep. Now Raina run out. Ridiculous. It was Raina's call. But take a look at the running. Hesitancy. Should he go? Shouldn't he go? Then he sees Murli. He thinks he can make it. Here he feels he can. And when he turns, Murli's picked up the ball. He's thrown it. The yes and no didn't leave any chance for him to get back. He's got only himself to blame as I see it. But India now in trouble. Dhoni has walked in. Look at that average. 46.85. And uh, a strike rate of 91. No wonder he is topping the charts. Oh! But now, suddenly there is doubt in the minds of the Indians. And still I feel they haven't gotten an extra fielder in the circle. And he has been stuck viciously and great fielding there in the deep. Saves three runs. Kapugedra saving three runs that was headed for the boundary that was hit like a rocket he had to put in the dive great commitment magnificent to watch lush green outfield look at that for an effort Oy! how did he manage to play that very deliberate he's got the boundary but he obviously read that quicker delivery maybe the dusra and he's played that very fine, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Mind you, he's just walked in. Whoa! And that was through him. 
Once again, very nearly. For a moment, I thought it was through him. Completely beaten. Well, Yuvraj has jabbed very hard at it, and he hasn't really picked uh, which way the ball is going. And his front foot is pretty stationary. But this is a good shot. That's a hit down towards the mid wicket boundary. It's gone for four. It's 149 for three. Just over the top. That's uh, down to the boundary. Very well played by Yuraj Singh. Controlled stroke. Just few paces down the track. And a little chip over the top. A boundary. And straight away. That's a great shot by Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Straight past the bowler. Very powerful. Welcome back, Nuan Kulasekara. In the air, shouts of catch it. And uh, yes, he's taken it. A good low catch. Murli Dharan in the action again was responsible for the throw when the run out took place. Now he's running and taken a low catch. So Sri Lanka picked up another wicket. And at a very good time, could there be a twist in the tail? Yuvraj Singh, you'll be disappointed with this. That's uh, another variation of the slower delivery, as we said. He bowls them very, very well. Time Uru Lutheran coming in at mid-on, taking a good, comfortable catch. So that's the fourth wicket gone now. Yuvraj Singh, he's out for 23, India 181 for four. Rohit Sharma has uh, come to the wicket. Batsman in form. 33 matches for him in ODIs. 593 runs. He's come into the crease at a very crucial stage of this match. Between a cover and extra cover, and then between extra cover and mid off. That's what I reckon both batsmen will do. Tony is pretty clever at doing it. Rohit Sharma also will look to do that. Try and hit through the offside if the opportunity arises. Come on. There it goes, there it goes. And it has found the gap very elegantly stroke. And it reaches the boundary. It's a good shot. Not a great delivery by Mendes. There's no protection on the offside, as we said. So he's got a ball straight to line. It's just too much width. So that takes uh, some pressure off Sharma. Early call, and he's so quick. Not only can he strike the ball hard, he's so very quick between the wickets, MS Dhoni. So I think there's a bit of a problem uh, simply because uh, the uh, there was a very good bounce for the fielder. 219 for four. That's beautifully struck. He makes it look so easy, Rohit Sharma, when he middles the ball. Fielders are in the circle. There's just a long on, there's no long off, so he's hit it uh, beautifully. Got the bottom man into play. A little bit of an inside out shot. Unbelievable. Just opening the face of the bat at the moment of contact. Magical. Doesn't get any better. 50 for MS Dhoni. Captain's innings from Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Very good use of the feet once again. He promoted himself ahead of uh, Rohit Sharma and Yusuf Patan, the regular batsman. Good use of the feet, getting close to the pitch of the ball and then driving it straight back past the bowler. Terrific shot this to, to bring up his half century. Blasted down the ground. Why would you want to risk your wicket for one run when you can hit shots like this? Absolutely right. Once again, he's picked it up very well. Good use of the feet. And whacked away, dismissed from sight. So some of the youngsters coming good. Ishan Sharma picking up three wickets. Raina getting a half century. Oh. 
that might get to the boundary. A delightful shot. Ends the over. 246 for four. Well, if you're going to ball on the pad, you're asking for punishment. If you have no protection there, no deep square leg. Roy Sharma just leaning into that flick shot. A lot of support for India today here in Dambula. That's the winning run coming from the bat of the Indian captain Mahindra Singh Dhoni. 61 not out. And he has done a job. Came into bat when India lost a few wickets pretty quickly and made sure he batted till the very end, setting a perfect example for the youngsters in the side. It's a very well paced innings by the Indian uh, skipper. He's of course got to be thankful to Gambhir and uh, Suresh Raina for their Century Plus partnership, which is what uh, set things up very nicely for India. They, they gave uh, a platform whereby the, the batsmen that followed could uh, take their time, settle down, and that's exactly what the Indian skipper did. Still four matches left in the series, so it's going to be a hard-fought battle. Sri Lanka will come back fighting extremely hard. The other four matches in Colombo. Gambhir well made 62, but got out at the wrong time. Tendulkar unlucky with the decision, just five. Suresh Raina batted well, but again run out at the wrong time. 54 for Raina of 71 balls. Yuvraj Singh made 23, he was looking dangerous. And departed, caught in the deep. MS Dhoni, captain showing the way, undefeated, 61, and Rohit Sharma kept in good company, 25 not out, 247 for four. Seven overs for Kulasekra, no wickets. Tushara picked up one, Farbiz Naru picked up one. Important thing there, Mendes, 10 overs, no maidens, none for 47, and Muthya Muridharan, 10 overs, no maidens, one for 52. the reasons why India have cruised home, not losing any wickets to Murli and Mendes. 246 was the score for Sri Lanka, 247 the target, achieved quite easily in the end in the 49th over. Good contributions from Gambhir, Dhoni, Raina and then Rohit Sharma. India have won the match by six wickets. You are watching Neo Cricket.